Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is Apple redistribution into boxes. So in this question, we're given an array called apples and which has a size of n. You're also given another array called capacity, which has a size of n. Now, there are n packs where i pack contains apple of i number of apples. So there are n packs and there are m boxes available as well. So these are the m boxes and each box has a capacity for the capacity of i. Our task is to return the minimum number of boxes you will need to redistribute n packs of apples into the boxes. So we have to find the minimum number of boxes and note that apples from the same pack can be redistributed into different boxes. So let's take this first example. So this contains one apple, this pile contains three apples and this pile contains two apples and this note means that these three apples is not mandatory to be present in the same box so for example if we need three boxes this is box one box two and box three and these three apples is not mandatory to go into a single box so one apple can go here two apples can go here one apple can go here one apple can go here one apple can go here so these are the three apples and these three apples constitute to this pack of apples and the keyword here is that we have to use the minimum number of boxes and we know the capacity of each box. So we have to start with the maximum capacity box, right? So that it can hold maximum number of apples. So this is not in sorted order. So it is important for us to sort this array in ascending order. So after sorting, the array will look like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the max capacity box can be found out in the last index position, right? So from the last, you can pick the boxes. Since we can redistribute the same pack of apples into different boxes we are not dealing with individual packs so we know need to know how many number of apples are there so find the sum of these uh, apples so there are six apples and the six apples we have to fit fit them in minimum number of boxes and we are given the capacity of those boxes and we know the largest capacity box is in the last index position we have to return the number of boxes right so i'll keep track of a variable count which is initially zero. Now we pick one box and this capacity has five. We have six apples. So add all these six apples into this box. So we used one box, so count will be incremented by one and we subtract the total number of apples by this capacity value. So we have one more apple left. And now we pick this box, which has capacity four and we fit this apple into four. So we subtract four and now the value is minus three and there are minus three number of apples. So as soon as the sum is reduced to less than or equal to zero, we end the iteration. And here we use this two boxes, right? So count is two, so two will be your output. So these are the observations you have to make. So let's take a look at the code. So I've taken the same example as example one. And first to begin with, I'm finding the sum of the apples array. So to find the number of apples. So I create a variable sum, which is initially zero. And I keep iterating the apples array from left to right. So here I'm iterating through the apples array using the num variable and I keep adding the values 1, 3 and 2. So I get the sum as 6. Now I'm sorting the capacity array in ascending order. So after sorting, the array will look like this. So after sorting, I have the sorted capacity array. Now I keep track of a variable count. So count is initially 1 and I'm iterating through the capacity array from right to left. So I'm starting from this index position. So I get the maximum capacity box. Now I check if this capacity value is 5. So this capacity value is 5 and the sum is 6. Check if 5 is less than 6. Yes. So increment count. So count will be incremented by 1. So count is now 2. And now we check if sum is less than or equal to 0. No. So we don't break and now we decrease the sum. So sum will be decreased by the capacity of 5 value. Capacity of 5 value is 5. So 6 minus 5 is equal to 1. Now in the next iteration, we take this box and this box has a value 4. So capacity of i, which is this box has capacity 4 and the sum is 1. Check if 4 is less than 1. No. So we don't increment count. That is why we started with 1. And now we check if sum is less than or equal to 0. No, sum is 1. And now we decrease the sum and sum will be decremented by the value 4. So sum has a the value minus 3. Now we go to this box. Now we check if current capacity is 3 is less than minus 3. That is the sum. No, we don't increment. We check if sum is less than or equal to 0. Yes, sum is less than 0. So we break. So we come out of the for loop and whatever is present inside count will be returned. Count has the value 2. 
so 2 will be returned as the output so 2 is the expected output here so the time complexity of this approach is o of n log n because we are sorting the capacity array in ascending order and the space complexity is o of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve this question that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video